Now, uh, good evening to all. Today we have discussed. Topic one related to radar and navigational subject, and for diploma student, micro radar engineering. This is a topic related to block diagram of radar. Block diagram of radar. I have sketched here the block diagram of radar, in which, in which, radar means radio detection and ranging. Radar means radio detection and ranging. The term radio refers to the use of electromagnetic wave, which wavelength in the so-called radio wave propagation spectrum, which covers the wide range, wide range in terms of kilometer. It is a system that can be used to detect range. determine the distance and map object such as aircraft and train strong radio waves were transmitted and received the lessons from the reflected echo by analyzing the reflected signal reflector can be located and sometimes identified although the amount of signal is written is very different so radio signal that can be easily detected and easily amplified means what this is the block diagram of radar uh, this is the block diagram of radar uh, i have discussed this point also i have said one another five along with uh, Then I have opened the Microsoft Word. So white board. Now see, if I have erased this entire canvas, now see this. I have sketched one diagram here. I have sketched one diagram here. See this? This indicate radar. This indicate radar. Now, this can be fixed with the help of fix ten. now assume that this is the target signal assume that this is the target signal consider this is the plane this is the radar this is the targeted signal now if this signal can be cross like that see and if this signal can be transmitted like that so it can be consider as a see this see this zero it is consider as a electromagnetic energy pulses electromagnetic energy pulses and here it is known as radar principal it is known as radar principal see this it is known as principal of radar now if electromagnetic wave can be transmitted by particular device in here 
whatever reflected wave can be present, whatever difference that can be generated here, whatever difference can be present, it can be detected by radar. If this signal can be transmitted by 50 volt per meter, with the help of 50 volt per meter, with electric field intensity, and here at radar, if this signal can be received at 60 volt per meter, then what is the difference between them? Or 40 volt per meter, assume that. And what is the role of radar? Radar can be differentiated with this signal. So it is the concept of radar. It is the basic concept of radar. It is the basic concept of radar. So it can be considered as a radar principle or principle of radar. Radio detection and ranging. So electronic principle on which radar operates is very similar to the principle of sound wave reflection. If you shout in the direction of sound reflecting object like rocky cayenne, you will hear an echo. If you know the speed of sound in air, you can then estimate distance and general direction the object. Time required for the return echo that can be converted into distance of the speed of sound do you know this? This is the basic principle of radar. From my material, I have read this very carefully. So you will directly remember that what is the main point that can be present in the radar. Now, see, this is the block diagram of radar, basic block diagram of radar, basic component that can be presented here. Now see, what is the first point See, this is the entire block diagram of radar. Synchronizer, transmitter, power supply, display, receiver, duplexer, switch, antenna, electromagnetic wave that can be radiated from antenna, that can be connected with each other. See, this is the simple block diagram of radar. See, this, this is a simple block diagram of radar. Prepared very carefully. Now see this, I have explained here what is the function of radar and what is the block, working principle of block that can be present inside the radar. First and most important block, first and most important block that can be said is, first and most important block that can be said as transmitter. That can be said as transmitter. Transmitter creates the radio wave to be sent and modulated from the pulse train. Transmitter must also amplify the signal to the high level. To the high level. An example of example of the transmitter that can be used inside the inside the transmitter circuit. It is known as traveling wave tube or Klystron. Traveling wave tube and Klystron have individual limitation and application. So transmitter is used to amplify the signal to the high power level. Transmitter. Transmitter is used to Amplify signal at high level. High level provide adequate range. And what is the example of transmitter? Traveling wave tube and Klystron is example of transmitter. It is the example of transmitter. See, this is the first point. 
now second point again it is the most important part which is known as gc work which is known as gc work see the diagram of this this is transmitter transmitter is complete this is antenna this is receiver see this this is the receiver what is the function of that that i have explained here receiver means what receiver is sensitive to range of frequency being transmitted and provide the amplification of the return signal in order to provide the range receiver must be sensitive without the introduce without introduce the noise and it is used to improve the better signal to noise ratio it is used to improve the better snr signal to noise ratio so this is the second uh, second block third block power supply third block power supply power supply provides the electrical power to the component power supply provides the electrical power to the component it provides the power must be greater than 1 kilowatt provides power greater than 1 kilowatt 1 kilowatt so high power can not be required during the transmission high power can not be required during the transmission due to if power can be high power required high power consumed then energy that can not be stored so average energy that can be stored if if half power uh, high power is not transmitted so it is the work function of power supply fourth which is known as synchronizer fourth which is known as synchronizer 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 coordinates the timing for range determine regulates the rate at which pulses are sent pulse repetitive frequency and reset the clock for range for determination of signal of each pulse signal from the synchronization signal from the signal uh, synchronizer are sent simultaneously to the transmitter which send the new pulse and new pulse that can be returns with the help of swift that is the role of synchronization that is the role of synchronizer fifth duplexer duplexer is the center role in the simple form of block diagram it can be used as a either transmitter or receiver it can be used as a either transmitter or receiver it can be used as a either transmitter or receiver this is the switch that alternatively connects transmitter to the antenna or receiver to the antenna it is purpose what is the purpose of the duplexer its purpose its purpose is to protect the receiver to protect the receiver protect the receiver from high power high power output transmitter high power output transmitter it is the function of duplexer during the transmission of outgoing pulse du duplexer that can be connected with transmitter pulses and after pulse sends send then it can be connected with receiver see this very carefully that's why dual switch can be connected if if duplexer that can be connected with transmitter at that time this can be considered as a open circuit if duplexer can 
and once pulse that can be sent see this entire process that can be developed like that see this transmitter transmit the electromagnetic waves see, so arrow can be like that so it can not be connected with here it can not be connected with here now it can be connected like that see this and signal can be low, goes like that and if this antenna can be act as a receiver then this receiver can be converted electromagnetic wave into the form of electric signal with the help of antenna because antenna can be act as a sensor of electromagnetic wave now see this is the bidirectional line so this signal can be goes at the switch now it can be operate in the receiver mode at that time this signal can be travel like that this signal can be travel like that see this this is the path at which signal can be travel see this and whatever received signal that can be displayed with the help of synchronizer when power supply synchronizer means what whatever transmitter frequency transmitted by pulse that can be exactly exactly equal to the receiver frequency so it is the function of duplexer duplexer is not required if transmitter power is low duplexer switch is required only for high power transmission duplexer is switch is only required for the high power transmission so duplexer can be either connected with transmitter or connected with receiver antenna obviously no antenna can be considered as a sensor of the electromagnetic wave but here high power transmitted so antenna must takes the radar pulse from the transmitter and puts into the air furthermore antenna must focus the energy into the well defined beam which increase the power and permits the determination of determination of the target the antenna must keep track of its own orientation physically there are also antenna system which do not physically move but are steered electronically oriented as a radar beam is already known as priorly display display means whatever data that can be displayed it can be form of a different different way vertical axis it is the strength of electric field or magnetic field or electromagnetic wave and horizontal axis it indicates by time delay so it is the basic log diagram of radar that i have explained in this particular lecture chapter number 1 according to degree engineering for a diploma it can be considered as a chapter number 5 thank you very much in next lecture we have discussed the different different types of radar this is the simple radar block diagram